Hi everybody, I'm Janet Robin, and today I'm gonna to show you how to do basic standard Travis finger picking. Now, if you wanna play guitar, especially acoustic guitar, you gotta know how to do this pattern. It really is kind of the first pattern that we learn when we start with finger picking. Uh, Travis picking came from Merle Travis. I'm sure he was heavily influenced by many um, African-American blues finger pickers from the early 1920s. But Merle Travis was a, a great guitar player. He brought it to the country music and bluegrass scene. It made its way into folk music, into rock and roll, and now it really is just kind of the standard for finger picking. There's lots of other styles of finger picking, but this is the standard basic one, as I mentioned, that we all have to learn in the beginning. So my progression, very simple, A minor, D minor, G5. You can use any chords you want on, on and finger picking and on Travis pick, picking. It really is about the right hand and the consistency of your pattern. Travis picking is really cool because it entails having an alternate bass line constantly going on with your thumb. And the melody is being controlled by these fingers, right? Either two or three. And, and that's what's super cool about finger picking because it's kind of like having a one person band. You've got like bass line going on, the melody, and then if you're singing, it's like a whole thing, you know? So it's really awesome skill and technique to learn. Uh, great for learning songs that I'm sure you, some of your favorite songs have Travis picking and also for your own writing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the right hand now, very important as far as where to put it. You can pick directly over the sound hole, you know, or you can do what's called bracing, where you put kind of the heel of your hand here on the pegs, and then you just pick from there. What I don't want you to do is this bracing thing with the pinky. That's a really big no-no. Um, here's why. What happens is it really stops the fluidity of your fingers. And you may get a cramp, not good. And last but not least, it's, it just doesn't look good. Very unprofessional looking. So pick one or the other, either in the middle of the sound hole, you know, if you can keep it steady like that, or if you need the bracing, perfectly fine. That's what I do. I like the bracing back here. Make sure you're on the pegs, not way back here and not in front of the bridge, just on the pegs. And I like it because it leads my hand direct, my fingers directly over the strings I need to be on. In this case for Travis picking this pattern, I'm only using three fingers. You can use four, but this one we're only using three. Thumb, first, middle. All right, for the A minor, what I'm gonna do for each chord actually is I'm gonna call out the string numbers. All right, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna let you know in the beginning which finger is going where. So A minor, the thumb is controlling the bass line, five and four. All right, it's controlling that. And it's alternating between those two. The melody line, first finger, third string, middle finger, second string. I'm gonna call it out. So follow with me, five, three, four, two, five, three, four. Okay, very simple. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. You wanna do a lot of repetitions of that to get it in your head, you know, to build the muscle memory and to eventually work on speed if you want. So again, five, three, four, two, five, three, four. All right, now let's move to D minor. Same situation, except we've moved down a string. So now our right hand is gonna move as well. Your bass line is gonna be on four and three, controlled by the thumb. Your melody line is gonna be on two and one. All right, first finger on string two, middle finger on string one. So I'm gonna call out the, the string numbers again. Follow me. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three. Same kind of pattern, just one string down. All right, four, two, three, one, four, two, three. You wanna do a lot of repetitions of that. The G5, again, my right hand is gonna change since my left hand is changing. Now my bass is gonna be on six. I could do six and five, but six and five doesn't sound so good. So I'm going to choose to do six and four for my bass line. 
So thumb is controlling the bass, six and four. Melody, melody line is on three and two, all right? So I'm gonna call out the string numbers again on the G5, which is on six and two. Right hand here, six, three, four, two, six, three, four. That might feel a little weird because we're skipping a string, but it sounds better than the fifth string. So you might as well get used to things like that. All right, six, three, four, two, six, three, four. Six, three, four, two, six, three, four. So we have so far A minor. Move it down a string, D minor. G5, move back up, now you're on six. And I conclude it back on A minor. Now in my original progression, I did a couple of fancy things like you don't have to do that right now. I think it's best to just stick with the standard pattern. Just get it down nice and clean because you're gonna run into some problems if you try to add a bunch of things right now. Um, now, I'm, I'm gonna give you a really important tip. And the, the trouble I see with beginners and finger picking is not necessarily learning the pattern, but transitioning from chord to chord. And I'm gonna help you with that right now. This is what I like to tell people to do. Do the pattern on one chord, for example, the A minor, and then move to the D minor, but only do the first note, all right? In that case, it would be the D string. So you only add one note at a time for the transitions in order to make the transitions smooth. You add one note at a time. Don't try to transition to the next chord and do the whole finger picking pattern. It's better to do it in pieces. So it goes like this, A minor, five, three, four, two, five, three, four, switch, four, okay? And then the next time around, after you do some repetitions of that, you would then add a string or two. So five, three, four, two, five, three, four, D minor, four, two, or four, two, three. If you can manage it, don't try to do the whole pattern yet though. All right, and you work your way up into eventually doing the whole pattern. You take each transition separately. So the D minor, you would then do the same thing. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, and then six, and only hit that, right? That's gonna make things go much faster rather than plowing through and trying to do it, you know, all at the same time. You're gonna have breaks. You're gonna be like this, you know? and then you're gonna look and it's not gonna be smooth. And that's the other thing too, make sure you don't look at your right hand so much. Um, it actually will stop you from becoming smoother with your transitions. You'll forget where you are. And after looking at your right hand for too long, the strings actually get really blurry and it's, it's just a bad habit. As guitar players, we don't generally look at our right hand. So those are my tips for learning just the standard basic Travis finger picking style. Um, let's play it together one time. And of course, you're gonna go off and do it many, many times on your own until you get it nice and clean. Here you go, A minor. I'll call out the string, uh, string numbers. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. D minor. Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, four, two, Four, two, three, one, four, two, three. G, G5, six, three, four, two, six, three, four, six, three, four, two, six, three, four. Back to A minor. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. And there's your lesson on basic Travis picking, uh, Travis finger picking. I hope you enjoyed it. Go on practice. And I'll see you at the next lesson. Keep playing.